Hey guys, day two at Ero in Friedrichshafen. We will make a quick walk around here in the halls. This is B1 and then we will just go around and have a look what's new like this nice ultralight glider. It's not a glider. <laughs> No tow hook. <laughs> what a bummer. I, th I hope they won't land like this because I don't think the landing gear will survive. <laughs> yeah. But nice finish here. Wow. We got the carbon fiber here. Oh, looks really nice. Beautiful. We need a glider which can land on water. <laughs> the 3D printed bomb with the flam antenna. <laughs> Wenn man da schon hochgehen darf, dann kann man sich da auch reinsetzen, oder? They definitely need new Steefly sticks here. Flying Easter Egg. Hm. Ja, keine Ahnung. Ich weiß nur, dass es viel schleppen darf, das Ding. Hi, welcome to Breezer Aircraft. You can see here a plane which is especially developed for towing. We installed the Rotax 915 in here with 141 horsepower, which makes this plane capable of towing 850 kilogram gliders, which is the maximum that's needed. It works pretty well. It comes with two options. You can either have the options to, to pull the rope in or have a fixed coupling and it's quite easy to fly, low operating cost. We think it's the future of, of towing planes. I'm not sure what they are doing here. It looks like a helicopter, but it has wings. What's going on here? ETA, the next generation club class glider. I really like these planes, these bush planes, but unfortunately in Germany you are not allowed to land anywhere. So you can just land at the airport, airfield. That's boring. The prop looks really interesting because it's so thin here. But nice carbon prop safer. And unfortunately no tow hook. What a bummer. This would be a great tow plane <laughs> with a turboprop. <laughs> now we are here at Cloud Dancers. Let's have a look at my new bag. <laughs> That's the new document bag. Here, perfect size for the IKEA cards. And you can even have here your iPad in there. And later on, you will also be able to order here your customized patches with your registration and competition ID and so on. And here this is the nice seat belt webbing which is really a great handle. Even helicopters can make an error too. Here we found a tow hook. <laughs> So here we have the manufacturer of the tow hook, so we will have a look here. Ah, here, that's cool. A car tow hook. <laughs> that's something I need to do at one point, to make a car launch. <laughs> yeah. It looks exactly like a big RC plane. <laughs> ah, and here you can, you can disconnect it somehow, so you can fold it. Cool. This tire has steel. It's a cool small plane, but I would like to know the glide ratio without propulsion. <laughs> yeah, nee, nicht in echt. <laughs> Red line. Eh? Oh, no. Hat das schon mal jemand besser hingekriegt? oder? Ah. <laughs> uh, 
danke euch. <lacht> no instruments, nothing. <lacht> With an electric propulsion, folding prop. <lacht> In a <the> small elevator. <lacht> Ey, schau mal. Our next business idea. <lacht> Bling, bling, bling. So we are here at the booth of Ackerflieg Karlsruhe. They have a, I don't know how to call it, it's a Nurflügler. Uh, so only a wing without a horizontal and vertical stabilizer at the end of the fuselage. Um, really cool project. Dominic, what's new at the AKX? So yeah, as you can see behind us, first time full span, 50 meter glider. Um, so yeah, actually Aero was the first time we, we rigged the whole glider. Um, the only thing that's not final as it's standing here are the winglets. Those are dummy winglets for now, but structurally, fuselage and wings, those are completed. So there are still a lot of 3D printed parts here? Yes, exactly. This one. <laughs> yeah, so these are work in progress, as you can see, but I'm holding in my hand here, for example, a carbon fiber part, which is this green part. Um, we've just recently built this and destroyed it, actually, to test it. And it is functional, as it's standing here. Um, so we, we achieved the required loads. So we will probably go ahead with this design. And next year, maybe the, <laughs> maybe the, the gear will be completed next year. So only two weeks we drilled the main holes for, for the bushings uh, into the wings, into the stubs. That was super exciting. Um, but what I want to show you here is the complicated mechanical mixing system that we have. Um, so it works in this way that you have a stick attached here of course and elevator control works like this where you have um, control rods going out to the wing here and the innermost and outermost control surfaces extend in opposite directions because the innermost one is forward of center of gravity and the outermost one is aft of center of gravity. So by having them extend in opposite directions, you get a net force um, going up or down. And then uh, ailerons work pretty standard by extending all the control surfaces in um, one direction. And then we, of course, FIE 50 meter class, class, we also have flaps, and those work by, um, by a, a staggered control. So these go in and out. And this, um, yeah, this is staggered control. So the innermost control surface extends the most. And yeah, standard flap control. So something else we're currently working on is the trim system. Um, as you can see, we have space constraints and it's very difficult to get a traditional trim system in here. So we had to get very creative. It's not finished yet. There's only a demonstrator, but it already works. Um, yeah, and also I can, I can give you a short teaser. In a couple of weeks, we will have a full video on the trim system on our YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. I will link it to you. <laughs>
some jets. I already flew a jet last year. First time flying an LS4 jet. <laughs> but uh, it would be fun to fly another jet at some point. <laughs> Not sure, the Eurofighter is a little bit too high <laughs> on the high score, but... <laughs> Lars, you are a glider pilot, but you also flew the Eurofighter here to the Aero. Um, uh, does it have a tow hook and does, how good is the glide ratio? Well, honestly, the uh, glide ratio is uh, quite bad when the engine stops. Um, I can show you the tow hook here in a second, uh, but there won't be uh, a glider that is uh, stable enough or um, good yeah. enough to be towed by a Eurofighter. What a bummer! So this is the tow hook here? Yes, exactly. So this is the uh, tow hook. No, just kidding. Uh, this is actually a uh, tail hook, uh, basically, for some uh, malfunctions. We use that to catch a cable and uh, have a shorter ground run. OK, cool. <laughs> but we found a tow hook. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this small walk around here at the Aero in Friedrichshafen. I hope next year there are more glider and glider manufacturers available. Um, but this year you can have a look at my stand here with the LS3. Come along and yeah, see you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.